Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Downstate Download. And here are your hosts, Dan Kwan and Owen Edwards. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Downstate Download. We are your hosts. I'm Dan Kwan. Owen Edwards. And here's what happened in SUNY Downstate in 2019. The semester started off with a bang as tragedy struck, where eager families stampeded into Alumni Hall with several people sustaining serious injuries. We have reporter Alana uh, Anklebreaker on scene. Uh, thanks, Dan. Anyways, yes, we are on scene with people who have sustained serious injuries during the white coat stampede. Here is Jack Nasal who just wanted to see his son get his white coat when 400 aggressive parents stomped him into the ground. I just came to see my son. It's a bloodbath. Oh no! <laughs> Following the tragedy that was the SUNY Downstate white coat stampede, things went from bad to worse, as 200 students were lost at sea during the infamous booze cruise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only surviving footage. You may want to turn your eyes. <laughs> hey, Dan, that guy looked like he was having a good time. Anyways, now a live look at the anatomy lab where fourth year student and anatomy guru, Michael, the GOAT, more Antonio, offers guidance to first year students who know absolutely nothing about anatomy. Remember, it's all about the mnemonics. You just have to remember Of course. Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, wait, this should be that all the time? Yeah, not a problem. It's real simple. Just remember And then Okay, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense, but uh, how would you explain uh, all the muscular attachments to the sternoclavicular joint? What's the, the trick? Oh, that one's pretty fun. That one's and then you're going to go ahead and Huh, wait a second, I, I was taught in the textbooks so only the rhino is real. Oh, no, 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 forget that You're going to have to remember oh, I see, I see. Thanks, Michael! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on a more serious note, we'll be transitioning to the segment of our program for those who are going through a hard time and are in a dark place. I started using Inky, I think, six months ago. It started really innocent, but before I knew it, I couldn't really hang out with my friends without thinking about the Anki cards I could be doing. I was warned about the dangers of Anki. I didn't truly take it to heart. When I first started, I couldn't fall asleep without doing a thousand cards. Ever since Josh started using Anki, he has just not been the same anymore. And I heard this great organization called Anki Anonymous, so I encouraged him to join. Thanks to Anki Anonymous, I've come a long way. Now I'm down to just 800 cards a day. No tomorrow, no tomorrow, and I find it kind of funny. If you or a loved one has been affected by Anki addiction, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call the number on your screen today. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very... And now for our weekend weather report, we have local weatherman, Ian... Thanks, Dan. Take off your shoes and slip on those gowns. It is going to be balmy over here in 60. Now, moving eastward across the floor, uh, we've got a cold front working into 6G. These temperatures will not be high enough to pass. As for outside, we'd have to find someone who's been there to know. Back to you, Dan. Thanks. On to medical news. A new pandemic has hit downstate first year students, causing outrage and stress for all those affected. Reporting live from Carol 6F, 
Chris Bonacopita has the story. Acrylitis, the new viral infection that has caused panic and outrage among downstate students. According to epidemiologists, acrylitis makes students unable to scroll down on their MKSA portion of their summative exam. I didn't realize I was suffering from acrylitis until I was taking my exam. For some reason, I couldn't scroll past part one of the first essay question. I remember thinking to myself, wow, this essay question is short. Where are parts two through four? After some people came forward with their acrylitis, many others came forward with this ailment as well. Dr. Wagner is doing his best to remedy this situation, but we still don't know how many people are affected. Back to you, Dan. So, in other news, there has been an increased incidence of panopto microphone issues in recorded lectures at Downstate. Oh yeah, I heard that the faculty needs to re-record their voices because some of the sound quality in the lectures are pretty bad. Dan, um, I mean, rumor has it you're pretty good at uh, impersonating Downstate faculty. Is that true? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, no, no. I've, I've heard some things, my friend. Nah, I'm pretty sure you got the wrong guy. Well, I mean, that's too bad. Uh, the gig pays $50 an hour. I don't know about you, bro, but that's, that's a lot of brick. Okay, good morning, class. Um, this is Dr. Lors. Today, we'll be going over the different kinds of hematologic malignancies. Uh, you have a microcytic anemia and a low platelet count. Most residents will say that 800 is the cutoff, but you can sound so smart if you tell them that it's actually 1,000, okay? Okay, good afternoon, class. It's me, DK, Dr. Kang. Uh, I'm going to be giving a talk on transfusion today and how we select donors and how we screen for infectious disease. You see here, uh, we're going to have an elevated PTT. And that's important to know because then, you know, we can make sure our patients don't die. 2019 has been a year of many talented music acts. Lizzo, Kanye West, and Pusha T. But there is one music act right here at Downstate that is changing the face of hip hop as we know it. Stress, 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 stress. We don't need more stress. Cut pops, PBL, and tests. Walk in bulletproof vests. Please tell me who to go check. Don't you see? My life's a mess. Pop up, guess who? Pop up, guess who? MS1. One. Two in the bag. Yeah, we feeling glad, but still studying all day. Ain't got no time to play. First aid lecture goer, that's my type. That's my type, yeah, that's my type. Pass on my B&B, that's my type. 2X, I'ma get it done in one night. Pre-test, BRS, that's my type. That's my type, yeah, that's my type. Got them strong, ooh, now I'm tight. I'ma take off the rest of the new unit, new bag. Walking around glad, I can see why second year don't look back. Step one, this, not on step, don't trip. Learning objectives, don't follow that shh. If they don't like a lows, why are they using formative? They don't even know, but they can't help it, please. Med school is a breeze. I never studied and I passed everything totally. Just look at me, winging it every day, acting dumb on the scene. One and two in the bag. Yeah, we feeling glad, but still studying all day. Ain't got no time to play. First A, let's go with that's my type. That's my type, yeah, that's my type. Pass on my BMB, that's my type. Two X, I'ma get it done in one night. Pre-test BRS, that's my type. That's my type, yeah, that's my type. Got them strong, ooh, now I'm tight. I'ma take off the rest of the new unit, new bag. Walking around glad, I can see why second years on the bag. Presidential frontrunner Ian and Unit 3 director Christopher McDreamy Roman caused quite the commotion this weekend when they went head-to-head -to, -head to see who could write the longest and most passionate email to the class of 2023. As if we needed more emails from these two fiery individuals. All right, gentlemen, I want a fair fright. I want no foul play. I want no copy paste, no spell check. Only real words will be accepted. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay, shake hands. I've seen you at the gym. Your metaphors of the gym are like weak and pathetic. It's just like the Bible. Romans are going down. Begin typing in three, two, one, start. Thank you.
Ian, looks to me like you have five words. Dr. Roman, looks like you have a full ten words. I think we have a champion. Dr. Roman, congratulations. You are the champion. Yeah! Yeah! Take that to the gym. And the winner is Dr. Roman. Yeah! Yeah! Ha. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I'm Owen Edwards. I'm Di- You know what? No one's even gonna watch this. You know what? You're right. I'm going to NBC. Many great music acts in 2019. Drake, Justin Bieber, and the Queen Bee Beyonce Knowles. But there is one music act. The f <laughs> babies document. Uh, public service announcement. <laughs> I <it's>, uh, <laughs> Following this. Tr following the tragedy that was the White Coat Stampede. <laughs> <laughs>